Mario 64 Movie Maker 2 has seen many versions throughout its time. The version I will be talking about is 2.1.1.0, since it's what I use and personally prefer. If you use a different version, that's absolutely okay. They're all relatively similar, stability and uh, amount of features aside, so most of what I'm saying should still apply. As you download the program, you will find that the application itself comes with two other text documents. Don't delete them and always keep these documents in the same directory or folder as the main application. These documents are necessary for the program to work correctly. This is the most important part of the program. It allows you to freeze and unfreeze the camera both with soft and hard freezes. The difference between the two is that a soft freeze locks the camera in place gently, but it can still be moved with the C buttons. A hard freeze is unmovable. Uh, the two combine neatly, as with a soft freeze you can pivot the camera around the position your character stood in, press C up twice to go into the first person view, and then you can get the perfect angle for your video before hard freezing to keep that angle. Note that by default hard freezes only work inside the castle. To combat this, merely freeze and soft freeze the camera before entering a different area, and then unfreeze and the soft unfreeze once you're in said new area. Then the hard freeze should work as intended. With this feature, you can edit the camera style. In essence, you alter how exactly it behaves as you move around. They all basically do what they state, so you're best off just experimenting with them yourself. But as a tip, if your camera ever glitches out of bounds, uh, just change the camera style and press apply. Most times, this will fix the issue. This feature allows you to replace any animation with any other animation. There's a lot one can do with this, such as enhanced head movement, but we've shown that in a different tutorial. Overall, it's just something worth experimenting with. Just don't forget to press apply once you found the animation combination you want. If you don't want to scroll down the animation list every time, you can type into the animation text field. Only type in the text field while the index of animations is minimized. Otherwise, the search feature and the index will enter into conflict and you won't be able to select anything. There's a small tools drop down menu. Appearance settings lets you edit color codes in game and in real time, and it is the most intuitive and quick way to create color codes. On the left, you have the main colors, while on the right you have the shading hues. You can import a color code you already have into this editor, or you can export the values you set up as a color code. You can also reset back to the default colors or load colors of the current in-game character. The shading settings allow you to move and shift the shadows on Mario. Beware, color codes and shading editing only work on Mario and some Luigi mods. With most character models, this will simply glitch out the character model. It also doesn't work on Exmo Mario, just on Vanilla Mario. Extra Controls has two features. One allows you to raise Mario off the ground during his idle animation. This will not fix animations that clip into the ground. The last thing is the little button that allows you to disable the HUD or UI. If Mario 64 Movie Maker is not working, it's likely that you have a Ghost Project 64 open that is interfering with it. Just open your task manager and close any and all instances of Project 64 that you can find. 
Mario 64 Movie Maker will only work if there's only one instance of Project 64 open. If you don't want your animations to clip into the ground, you have three options. You can use a chroma key stage, which is something that is included in many mods and that usually has a transparent floor. You can use the tree trick that we've shown in a previous tutorial and that will be in the end screen of this video. Or you can make the floor of some stage in the game transparent, though this only works with floors that already have some transparency in them. For example this will work on the grate at the bottom of TikTok clock, but it will not work with the floor of the castle. Thank you for watching! If you have any more questions, we have a Discord server where we will try to answer them. Check it out in the description, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe you could, maybe not. <laughs>